You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters. Well, you got to ask yourself if you're a Chicago Sky fan, what is your priority? Is it to keep up the false narrative, the fraudulent narrative that Angel Reese is even nipping at the coattails of Caitlin Clark? Or is it to win actual games and make the playoffs? Is it to make sure the ball gets into the hands of the best players on your team? And I had a theory as I was watching Marina Mabry last night play for the Connecticut Sun. And by the way, I mean, uh, she requested a, a trade off of the Chicago Sky. And it was over things like... Uh, philosophy of game in other words where's your priority at and i was watching her she dropped 16 points last night the chicago sky desperately needs more offense and it seems that the team does not want to run the offense to the actual good big they've got which is camilla uh, cardoso i mean she's so much obviously the superior big talent, at least, uh, well, I would say offensively, but really and truly, she gets rebounds and block shots. I mean, she is the total package on this team. 11 rebounds, 6 assists, only 10 points. She outscored Angel Reese last night off of 6 fewer shots from the field. Think about that a minute. In 5 fewer minutes on the floor. Angel Reese had 14 rebounds. That's great. She scored seven points. This Chicago Sky team is in a full-blown meltdown. They are fading away, and now the Atlanta Dream is squarely on their butts. I mean, hell, Washington's not that far away at this point. They're stuck at this 11 wins. They are 3-7 and seven in their last 10, and... Guys, fans are slowly but surely starting to turn on her. Now, a lot of things have happened just in the last couple of weeks, but look, the media tried to prop up a, a false, fraudulent Rookie of the Year race, and all the while we knew it wasn't close. But now you've got to think, Teresa Weatherspoon, or Witherspoon, whatever it is, you're withering away as a team, seems to have the priority to make sure Angel Reese gets all these touches. And I guess her fandom, her famedom continues. But she is losing fans, and her play is losing games. And, you know, Mabry wanted out of town. You got to wonder, is it because of things like this? I mean, seriously, Teresa Weatherspoon is an incompetent coach. Another game where Angel Reese is second on the team in field goal attempts while Camilla outscores her with less attempts. Spoon cares more about Angel getting double-doubles than winning. That's the only explanation. Now, I'm, I'm getting it. The only way it stops is as she, she sits. You got fans out there calling for Angel Reese to be benched at this point. Makes zero sense. It's clear who the better player is. I feel bad for Camilla. If I was her, I'd ask for a damn uh, uh, trade out of town. I'm not a Sky fan, but it's unfair and it's really hurting Chicago. Angel Reese needs to pass the ball more when she rebounds her shot. I mean, it's, it's, look, they want the double-double, right? Can someone explain to me why Chicago Sky gives Angel Reese so many touches when the majority of them end up with her out of control and missing badly? Let's just check it out right here. I mean, this was last night. What is that? What is that? I mean, that's not even a serious shot. And I swear you see her teammate throw up her hand right here let's just uh right there what are you doing i mean 
that's nuts, folks. This can't be serious. It really cannot be serious. Let's go again. I mean, she's going to come around here, and you're going to see her, and they're going to throw the ball into her, and then that's not even remotely competent offensive basketball. That's not even remotely competent. And, you know, we did the video the other day because that stat came out about her being arguably the worst uh the worst inside five-foot field goal percentage shooting player in the league. Angel Reese plays the whole game to make three shots. She was three for ten last night. She's losing fans. I mean, look at this. This is Chicago fans, by the way. Camilla needs to shoot 15-plus times. What the F is Coach Spoon doing stop running plays for Angel? Angel keeps posting up and shooting 30% from the floor. They are not watching no film. I'd rather her take jump shots at this point than layups. Facts. She can shoot all threes. I wouldn't care, but 30% from two foot is ridiculous. And I'm a big fan of hers. Yikes. It's getting ugly. It's Teaspoon not holding her accountable. We know she's a great rebounder, but her minutes was supposed to have been cut. I'm her fan too, but at this point, it's getting ridiculous. Go look at what you're doing wrong. She was pretty good before the break, but after she's been consistently god-awful with her layups, she wasn't very good then either. By the way, Angel is getting mad. Look at this. And blocking fans that are critical of her. Uh, What's going on? Why would Angel Reese block me? And, of course, Bulls kick ass is a massive Angel Reese stand. This lady got blocked. It's official. Angel Reese stands may be more toxic than Caitlin Clark. I was in denial before, but my interactions these past two days have changed my mind. They're just killing the vibe of the WNBA. This so so this woman was actually uh, cheering for Angel, but she decided to get critical, I guess, and be objective. And her fans ran her out, and then Angel blocked her. What is going on? And if I am, I'm going to tell you, we saw that big stat that came out. This would also concern me, folks. It would concern me because she had the same kinds of problems at LSU. All right? This is about her offensive rebounding and her missed layups. But for added context, the finishing ability is not a new issue for Reese. Yikes. She shot 53.6% at the rim during her final collegiate season at LSU. That ranked in the 33rd percentile among players at her position and was the lowest among the 15 players with the most attempts in that zone. So she was flat trash in college when it came to shooting the ball inside five foot. It was a problem then. It's a problem now. And now her team is paying the price. They're losing games. They're hemorrhaging games now. And I think if the Sky lose that game to the Fever, which honestly, they should. Uh, I mean, if the Fever blow this game, it'll be on the Fever. I don't see the Chicago Sky winning it. The Fever will blow it. And I've got to wonder, was Mabry shipped out of town? To get Angel more touches, I understand it's a different position, but it doesn't matter. A touch is a touch. And Cardoso, she's getting sidelined for Angel Reese. And this this team is melting down because of it. And, And again, she went to Paris instead of being in the gym during the Olympic break. She could have been working on her game, and now she's got a podcast coming out. I mean, it's, seriously, what are you concerned about? Are you are you concerned about this? Your fashion sense? Angel Reese showing up to drop eight points on three of 26. Uh, but you got to stop and uh, show what you're wearing for the day. Yikes. If I'm a Chicago Sky fan, be objective for crying out loud. I mean, uh, take a look at what's happening. Your team is worse because she is on the floor right now. 
Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.